Let's take a look at how QuickBooks integration works at a high level, specifically the syncing process and what happens on both sides. We'll create a booking in Onares, watch it sync across to QuickBooks, and take a look at the items it creates on the QuickBooks side. Then we'll adjust some settings in Onares and watch how those changes affect the items that were created. To get us started, I've connected a QuickBooks account and left it with the default settings. Let's go ahead and create a booking. For purposes of this demo, we'll create one manually here in the interface, but the sync works the same no matter how the booking is created, even if it comes in from a channel like HomeAway or Airbnb. Here I'll select a property and a couple days for the booking. Let's use an existing guest to make it easy. And there's our new booking. Let's click on the Charges tab and take a look at the charges that were automatically created by the system for this booking. We see some rent line items, cleaning fee, and some taxes. Now we'll record a payment from our guest. We'll say that this guest paid $750, and he paid it yesterday. We'll say that it was a check and supply a check number and date. So here we have Joe Blow at Property 2 with charges of $1,492.21 and a payment of $750, leaving him a balance of $742.21. Since QuickBooks is configured for this property, we can click on the QuickBooks tab that shows on the booking and see the QuickBooks account it is connected to, along with some other stats, like when the booking last changed, which in this case was a few seconds ago, and the last time it was synced across to QuickBooks. As you can see, it was never synced, and so the status shows that it's pending. Automatically, Onares syncs all pending bookings every 10 minutes or so. So when you make a change in Onares, you can expect that the corresponding change will be made on the QuickBooks side in 10 minutes or less. Below this, we see the current booking record in Onares, which is this booking, and any payments and the corresponding records on the QuickBooks side, which as you can see are currently empty because this booking has not yet synced. Let's go ahead and force it to sync right now. We can do that by clicking the Sync Now button. By doing this, I am forcing Onares to sync right now while we wait and watch. And it just finished. Notice what the stats show now. It confirmed the sync, that it's finished, and a couple of new records down here. Let's go to the QuickBooks side and log in to our QuickBooks account. Here I am in my QuickBooks account, the same one that is connected to Onares. I'll go to my sales area and look at my invoices. If we look at these invoices right here, under the name Joe Blow, this is the invoice that Onares just created when the sync ran. After clicking to open it, we can confirm that this is the same invoice by comparing this invoice number, the one starting with ORB, with the booking number in Onares. By default, we set this to be the same so that you can easily track what invoices go with which bookings. Then look down the invoice and notice how it is filled out. The invoice date is set to January 8th, which is the same as the arrival date on the booking. And then the line items are created to match the same booking charges in Onares. You'll notice that the product or service item on the line items in QuickBooks only uses this rent only item and that there is no class on any of the line items. This is because our settings on the owner res side do not specify that classes should be used and the rent only product or service item is the only mapping that we've selected. Let's go back and make some changes to the booking and the QuickBooks settings and see what happens. First, I'll go to the QuickBooks settings and change the surcharge settings so that my surcharges and Onares have their own unique product or service item being used. In this case, I'll set them all to surcharge only, which is a product or service item that was created in QuickBooks. I could very easily create an even more specific item for cleaning fee, pet fee, and so on. We'll save that and move on. Then, I'll go to the property settings and select a class to use. We'll select the East class and save. Okay, 
Back on the booking, let's run the sync again, remembering the changes we just made. The sync is finished again as indicated here by the status and down here in the sync actions log. Over on the QuickBooks side, we'll refresh the same invoice record and notice now that our cleaning fee properly shows the surcharge only item and the classes are all filled in to East as I previously selected. These taxes can also be adjusted. I'll quickly go back to the tax settings in Owner Res, select to use multiple taxes, select the taxes and licenses item on all three taxes, and save. Then we'll go run the sync again on the same booking. Let's refresh what QuickBooks shows for this invoice. Sure enough, our tax line items now show a new product or service item next to each tax. Notice that the invoice also shows the payments that were recorded in Onares on the booking. I'll click into the payment to drill in and we'll notice that the check date and number also carried across from the check payment in Onares. Automatically, anytime the financial details change on a booking, the QuickBooks Sync will automatically run in the background for this booking. You do not need to manually run the Sync Now button on the booking Remember that the background sync will run automatically every 10 minutes or so. Let's go ahead and pay off this booking. Let's pretend that the guest gives you cash for the remainder of the booking. $742.21 is the remaining balance. We'll record that as a cash payment. And now we see it's paid in full. After running the sync again, we'll check the QuickBooks side. I'll refresh the invoice once again and see that there are now two payments showing. If we scroll down to the bottom of the invoice, we'll see the total that was paid and no balance due. Now you've seen how syncing works at a high level between Owner Res and QuickBooks. Remember that there are other settings and options that can be adjusted for QuickBooks, so take a look at our other support articles and videos to see the possibilities.